Hello everyone, my name is Michael. I'm a photography hobbyist or enthusiast based in Shanghai, China. Um, this is my first YouTube video and I am meant to use this video as a test footage for my newly bought Nikon Z9 and uh, to do a video about some of my favorite 50mm lenses of all time. Okay, so the first lens I want to introduce to you guys or uh, the first lens I, I want to share with you guys is the, uh, the Sony FE 55mm f1.8 Zeiss. The Zeiss lens, or I'll call it 55 um, going forward, the 55 is actually one of the most popular lenses out there for the Sony E-mount system, full frame E-mount system actually. Um, it's one of the first lenses that got introduced with the Alpha 7 cameras. And I bought one of those cameras in the very beginning, back in 2013 I would say, uh, when the cameras first came out. Um, I bought the Alpha 7R, and subsequently the Alpha 7 II, uh, Alpha 7 Mark II, the Alpha 7 R Mark II, the A7 R Mark III, and I, I kind of stopped there uh, with my E-mount journey. But along with along the way with all the cameras, I, I kept the 55mm because of several reasons. Reason number one, the lens is very lightweight. So the lens roughly weighs about 300-400 grams. It's not very heavy uh, considering all the other 50mm uh, options out there for DSLRs and obviously you can't compare their apple and oranges uh, meaning DSLR and mirrorless cameras but uh, the lens itself is really light. The second reason for why I really like this lens is because of its performance. Um, the lens is extremely sharp um, in the center of the image. Uh, it's not quite as sharp in the edges in the corners but it does sharpen up once you uh, slow down the aperture. Uh, back when I first started photography back in 2013-14, uh, the lens to me itself is pretty sharp enough. Um, it's already one of the sharpest lenses I've ever shot. Uh, keep in mind, I only started photography back then, so I'm not very in tune with uh, all the, uh, the super lenses out there or the very expensive lenses and other systems. I only knew the E-mount system and, and some, some cameras and lenses for the Nikon system, but uh, the lens itself is really sharp. Um, I would say it is still one of my favorite lenses of all time on the Sony E-mount system, regardless of, regardless of aperture speeds and regardless of, uh, of focal lengths. So the third reason why I really like that lens is this might be a bit controversial, but it's because of the bokeh. The bokeh on the 55 is not very plain. It is kind of swirly. Um, it's not as swirly as uh, you would find on uh, the Helios lenses for the, uh, the screw mount lenses back in the days uh, on, on the screw mount cameras. But it is more swirly than a lot of the modern lenses out there. And by, by having that, it actually gave the 55 a lot of character um, when you put it side by side with other modern lenses out there. And I'll talk about some of my favorite lenses down the road, but not when I share other two lenses. But uh, the 55 itself, because of that sharpness, because of that surely bokeh, and because of it being very compact and light, it is an obvious choice for uh, a lot of Sony users out there. And I believe, in the end, people will come back to this lens after trying the 50 Zeiss 1.4, and their newly released 51.2 G Master. Because of all the three uh, characteristics I mentioned beforehand. So yeah, uh, my third favorite 50 millimeter lenses of all time, the, uh, the Sony Zeiss 55 millimeter F1.8 ZA.